of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago, letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting? I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else, beyond the pale, beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. What's that? Ready now? Let's go. Get you as close as I can. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast. The mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Circonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery has only been possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the dust district. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. you reach the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish.
our squads patrol through the dust district. Orders from the Duke. We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the howlers use, then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. Silver dust out of my ears. Grand Palace. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. Hey, who is? We don't gotta say it twice. Aha! This head of yours is worth its weight in silver. Check the place just in case. I wonder what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Did I imagine that? Huh? No. Yeah. Oh,
just leave the district, and the Howlers can't. Paolo has a price on Burns' head, and the Vice Overseer effectively wants the same thing. Hello, Lord Protector. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Choosing between a bunch of thugs and zealots. Maybe they'll kill each other off. 